So we're going to use Eucharistic Prayer 5, which you'll find on page 18 of the Blue Service Book. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Worship and praise belong to you, Father, in every place and at all times. You made us, all the people of the world, and everything that is. You give us the daylight, your word lights up our minds. Jesus was born among us to be our light in our darkness. Your spirit lives in us so that we can look at the world with your eyes. One day we'll be with you in heaven, but already we laugh with the saints and angels and we sing, or in this case we say, their joyful song. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Father, you never forget, forget us or turn away from us, even when we fail you. You send your son Jesus, who gave his life for us. He healed those who were sick, cared for those who were poor, and cried with those who were sad. He forgave sinners and taught each of us how to forgive. For all your love we give you thanks in the way that Jesus showed us. On the night before he died, while he was having supper with his friends, he took bread and offered you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to them saying, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup. He offered you thanks and he gave it to them saying, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant it is poured out for you and for all people that sins may be forgiven. Do this in remembrance of me. So, we do what he told us. We open our hearts to him. We remember how he died and rose again to live now in us. Together with him we offer you these gifts, in them we give you ourselves. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and upon this bread, and this wine, that they may be the body and blood of Christ, and we, sharing your life, may travel in your company until our journey's end. With you and all your people, we give you thanks and praise through the Son and in the Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. On page number 20. The living bread is broken for the life of the world. Lord, unite us in this sign. And so we say together the prayer that unites Christian people throughout the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so let us all draw near with faith and receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave for us and his blood which he shed for us. May we eat and drink in remembrance that Christ died but lives for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. These are the gifts of God for the people. body of Christ broken for you and for me. The blood of Christ shed for you and for me.